Okay, so um, last week we talked about fossils and we talked about this lovely human looking foot fossil and our group decided that this was a human foot. Um, we decided it was a man's foot because most it was found near a dinosaur foot and most likely the man would be the one who'd be out hunting while the woman was at home. I know it's very, you know, cavemanish, <laughs> but in nature, most animals, the female takes care of the young while the male goes out and hunts and gathers. So we went with that. Um, we measured, well, we had the measurement of Paul's foot as 16 inches. So we all, we uh, measured our length of our feet and we took the average. So we added those numbers up and then divided that total by three to come up with an average um, so that we would have a ratio. And our ratio turned out to be 16 um, inches for Paul's foot and 10 inches for our feet. So then we proceeded to measure the circumference of our head, the length of, of our face, so from where our hair begins down to our chin. Uh, we measured our, our shoulder width. We measured our arm span, which shockingly was not quite the same as our height. And I believe that you are the tallest of the group, but you have the longest arm span. Yes. So we thought that it would be equal, the arm span and the height would be equal. Um, we measured our torsos, and then we measured the length of our legs, and the width of our feet too, because we, um, Beth had, said, had hypothesized that the width of our feet and the length of our feet would correlate to our weight, but nobody would actually say how much we weighed. So. <laughs> so we chose not to average that. We chose not to average that. We went with the average female weight to determine, um, let's see, so we took our height, we measured our heights, and we divided, added that, divided it by three, and then with our ratio, let me see, our height combined, we were, uh, Beth is 68 inches tall, I'm 65 and a half inches tall, and Tanya is 64 inches tall, and so we came up with um, our height combined, it was an average of 66 inches, um, and then when we did our 16 to 10 ratio, we came up with 106 inches for um, Paul here, and we, we uh, rounded up instead of going with half an inch and up and down. Um, we averaged his weight, we thought he'd be about 288 pounds. So kind of skinny for very that height. Very tall and very lean. Very lean, <laughs> probably because you know there's no McDonald's on the corner. Um, <laughs> but we met. We we averaged out that his head circumference uh, would be an estimated 36 to 37 inches. Um, his facial length would be an average of 13 inches, and then his arm span would be roughly 107 inches. Um, none of it's exact. It's all estimations because, like you see, the three of us are similar in height but totally different in build and height and all, and, and skew, build and facial features and all that stuff. So um, it's always an estimate. Nobody, even you take identical twins, they're not necessarily gonna be exact. So that is Paul. <laughs> After determining Paul's basic features and height and, and um, basically build, we also did the width of his feet, and we came up with his, because his foot length was 16 inches, his width of his foot, average with ours, came to about six inches wide. Um, we then determined that we gave him brown eyes, just because the dominant color in today's society is a brown, brown eyes, so we gave him brown eyes. Um, a larger, more Cro-Magnon man type of nose, and bushy eyebrows, because there were no Metro males back then. <laughs> No tweezers. <laughs> and that is our Paul. He's quite a hunk. <laughs>